really playing well in his 11th year in the NBA. For the Hornets, Harrison and Williams up front. Spencer Hawes starts for a second consecutive day. Jeremy Lin once again replacing Nick Batum and Kemba Walker. And Porzingis has a lot to do with that. I mean, no matter what you'd heard about his skill set and his capabilities, you never expect a rookie to have that significant of an impact that quickly. Seeing with those five players, just a little over 50 points and 30 rebounds. Jeremy Lin, and that'll get the team going. Works 14 points. Got ejected last night. He, Chris Paul got in a little, say, scuffle. He got tangled up. Frank Kaminsky into the game. First sub off the bench for the Hornets. Lin got it to go. And he draws the foul. Took it right to Porzingis. Check his nose. It seems like every time he gets hit, the nose starts bleeding. And he continues to drive into the teeth of the defense. Look at that. Cross over, splits the double team, and flips it up and over the top of the seven foot three rookie. And it takes the hit. Jeremy Lin probably has no idea, but his life changed dramatically on this day four years ago. This is the four year anniversary of his recall from Erie, who's playing for the Erie Bayhawks in the D-League. Hornets down six. They won't get into panic mode until they're down at least 19 in the second half. That's what they overcame yesterday. Big Frank straight on look from three. Got it to go. Lynn looked off the pass. Through it up and in. Jeremy's got a team high seven points. He checks in, top of the key, dials it up. Daniels trying to make it two in a row. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Why is P.J. Hairston continually ahead of Daniels on the chart? Bucket up and in for Brian. Roberts, Hairston, Lynn, Kaminsky, Hansbro. The five on the floor for Charlotte. The Knicks are switching defensively, so Porzingis is now on P.J. Hairston. P.J. and Porzingis running out. We saw defensively, you can see where Porzingis is matched up on the other side. He's over here. And then the other side, when they switch back out. First 14 minutes, maybe feeling the fatigue of playing an overtime game yesterday. Jeremy Lin gets inside and scores with the offhand. Excellent execution when you have an out-of-bounds play under the basket. Hall. Sixth rebound in the first half for Spencer. And Jeremy Lin draws the foul. Did he get hit in the face again? It looks like it. Oh, oh goodness. The up swipe, too. That's like an uppercut. Swallow tried to get him going down, and then Carmelo just says, no, will not get a shot off. That was... Excessive. Looked like it hurt for sure. Try to walk it off though. Give Lynn credit. That dude just keeps on going. Didn't know. Two, three, four. That's really? bad. That's yeah. bad if you don't know. Yeah. That is bad. That <laughs> was broken five times. Ooh. Yeah. Good grief. Of all the guys they broke. Washed. No. And we travel fourth time here in the first half that the Knicks have traveled. Jeremy then just beats the Flalo to the spot. Oh, he stepped on his toe. That's a tough break for a Flalo. Just travel or a charge. Spencer caught that in rhythm and knocks it down. Jeremy Lin catches. Oh. 
Hornets up by one. Make it four. Well, 12, you guys started the game two of 18, picked it up in the second quarter. What was the difference? Uh, you know, it's just a game of game of uh, flow and rhythm and, and spurts, and we just try to get comfortable and move the ball. We feel like they have two really good shot blockers, so if we can move the ball and get open shots, get to the weak side, I think we'll be okay. Well, you wouldn't be comfortable until you get to the hole, get hit in the face again, and you continue to drive in there. What makes you keep going back to the hole? Uh, I got a hard head, and I lead with I lead with my head, and uh, you know I'm just, I'm used to it. That's kind of how I play, so I don't mind it. Tough guy. Good luck in the second half. Thanks for stopping, Eric. Dell, thank you so much. The Harvard graduate, always good with his head. It's got him a lot. Uh, Timeout on the floor. We've got uh, halftime festivities when we continue. The Hornets. They've got a halftime lead on top of the Knicks by two.